I'm Peter Sowen, I'm a television journalist and uh, author. And I'm Dan Snow, his son, television historian and author and all sorts of things like that. And um, I remember this place, the Imperial War Museum, when I was very, very young. My dad brought me here very early on and showed me all these extraordinary exhibits. And I mean, I've been absolutely captivated ever since. It's one of the most startling memories of my childhood, walking into that central hall for the first time and seeing all those objects. Uh, and now I think everyone's copied the IWM, but um, back then that was just so incredible, having aircraft and tanks inside a building. I couldn't believe it. But I've been there as a child. I've been there as a sort of enthusiast. Um, I've been there for fun, and then, and then you come back for work, and I've been lucky enough to be involved in, in a couple of exhibitions and, and things here as well. So uh, I, f I feel like I've, I've sort of grown up with it, really. It is the most wonderful place. It, it's got such a resource of, uh, of, of, first of all, exhibits. Then it's got the personal stories that they tell so superbly. I mean, one of the recent exhibitions of it, just fantastic. So it's a precious national resource. One of the most effective exhibitions I've seen in this museum is the recent one called In Memoriam, which is the personal stories of people in the First World War. Uh, and it is very, very moving, beautifully done, very small scale, just a picture of somebody and their story. And that, of course, is what really war museums should be very largely all about, the human element in this terrifying fighting that we tend to inflict on each other. We're both trying to get uh, stories about the past out to a, as wide as possible audience. If you're at the IWM or if you're making television programs like us, you've got to really be able for everyone to enjoy it, everyone to understand it from three, four-year-old kids to God, veterans of the actual events you're describing. When I come in here, I see them using these incredible objects, interpreting them in such a way that gets vast numbers of people, even the uninitiated who've never really thought about military history before, absolutely fascinated by the past. So that's a continuous inspiration that, that I have because I want to try and do the same thing on television and in, in written form. But the other thing they do here is focus on real stories, real people, and, and television needs that. Television really needs drama and protagonists and, and, and a, a face that the audience can put a name to and, and empathise with, and, and that's what the IWM does as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, it's got this extraordinary archive, and it is extraordinary material, beautifully kept and and logged, uh, and, and to hear these people themselves telling the story, what happened in those planes in the, in the, in the Battle of Britain, it, it's incredibly uh, valuable material, it's a very moving material, to, to see what it actually was like, and that you could only get from a place like this. Probably the most significant uh, contribution it made was to the Battle of Britain programme we made, and it, it's got hundreds of hours of footage detailing that, that uh, incredible summer of 1940 when the whole history of the world hung in the balance. When you see the archive, it just comes alive, and the IWM has got the best collection of archive anywhere in the world, I think. I mean, seeing dogfights that happened in the summer of 1940 uh, while sitting here at the beginning of the 21st century in a little darkened room like this one is just an incredible experience. The harassed Germans let go of their bombs at random. There's no substitute for real film shot at the time during the war we're talking about. It, it's, it's extremely valuable material. I love bringing people for the first time, and you just see people's faces, they just can't believe what they're seeing. So it's the best museum experience uh, anywhere in the UK. I do now have some grandchildren, and I'm now bringing them to the museum, introducing them to all the, all the excitements here. Uh, and of course, they love it. <laughs>